This is the Dark Illumination Report for Monday, August 31st, 2020. And on today's episode, I'm just going to be clarifying a couple of things that I mentioned in the last episode because I want to make some things clear so that there's no misunderstanding. Anyway, we'll get into that next. This is the Dark Illumination Report podcast, the official podcast of Shadow Path Diabolism, your daily dose of Diabolonian philosophy to inspire you on your journey down the crooked shadow path. Here's your host, R.J. Womack, Brother Nero. Hey everybody, this is Brother Nero and this is the Dark Illumination Report podcast and this is R.J. Womack, as well as you know, and this is the Dark Illumination Report podcast where we promote the religious worship of Satan and demons as a serious faith and way of life, and we try to help our fellow diabolists on their journey down the crooked shadow path. Now, I wanted to do this podcast because I realized I didn't, I didn't clarify some things that are very important that I need to clarify because I know the occult community being the way it is, somebody will call me out on this, so I want to make sure to kind of answer this or respond to this before somebody mentions it. Now, as I said, I think the Church of Satan uh, applied for a trademark on Baphomet, and they used a different Baphomet than the one they have today. And then I think, if I'm remembering the story right, LeVay or somebody redrew the Baphomet to where it was distinctive enough to get a trademark. So the image that you see today is trademarked, but it's only that specific image drawn in that specific way. And I think it has something to do with, if I remember rightly, the eyes, the way they're shaped, and also the way that the Hebrew letters are arranged or they're drawn slightly different from regular Hebrew letters, if if I'm understanding it correctly. Or there's some slight differences that make it trademarkable, is my point here. And so that's why it's a trademark, I think, now. Now, the other thing to mention is that the reason that the Satanic Temple is able to use the Baphomet and able to sue Netflix is because their Baphomet is not a generic Baphomet. It's not the Oedipus Levi Baphomet. It is very unique in the shape of its face and in its body. And also with the addition of the children, it makes it very distinct, very uh, recognizable as something the Satanic Temple created. So it, it associates their name with that particular image of the Baphomet. And that's why they were able to sue Netflix and win their court case or settle with Netflix because, you know, you could see that it was obviously the satanic temple style Baphomet. There's no doubt about that. So they were within their rights to sue over the use of that particular Baphomet. So that's kind of how trademarks work. So anytime you're looking to get a trademark, anytime you're looking to do copyright or anything else like that, or a service mark, make sure you consult an appropriate attorney. I hope that helps. I hope it gives somebody some information and some education they didn't know before. And even though it's not directly related to Satanism, I think it's important for all of us who are practicing diabolist, shadow path diabolist in particular, uh, and that are interested in being ministers, that we understand some basic law and trademark law especially if you're interested in business, which I know some of you are. I know there are listeners to this podcast that are in the process of starting their own business. So I do think it's appropriate and I do think it's helpful for um, the diabolists who listen to this show. So take care, everybody. May Satan be with you. And as always, hope to see you next time. Thanks. If you would like to learn more about the Shadow Path Diabolism tradition of occultism, go to rjwomack.com. That's rjwomack.com. If you enjoy this podcast and support our message, tell a friend, leave us a review, and follow us on social media.